Welcome back to the Out of Eden Walk project. Paul Salopek here, the writer and National Geographic fellow who's walking across the world in the pathways of the first humans who discovered the Earth. I hope your hikes at the Philmont Ranch were filled with your own discoveries. I want to leave you with a couple thoughts before you set off on your personal journeys beyond New Mexico. If slowing down a bit and walking helps us unknot our thinking and allows us the time to examine the small but important details of our world, local and global, then it also opens doors to better understanding of our interior landscapes. I think walking is a contemplative exercise that helps us ponder who we are as individuals, where we fit into our diverse communities, and where we stand in the stream of history and current events. And here we have our uh, depiction of monuments. This has certainly been the case with me as I trek 21,000 miles through cultures and across borders, through a kaleidoscope of languages, faiths, ideologies, and ethnic groups. Walking forces me to interact with other people. It establishes an immediate human bond with others that is impossible when zipping through landscapes by car or flying over them in a plane. Walking has taught me how much I need other people simply to survive. And this is a profoundly important lesson that we can all take with us as we journey home. Attentiveness, the ability to lay aside distractions, these are important benefits of your walking exercises, whether it's to improve your studies or to get to know your neighbors better. But establishing deeper human connections is probably the greatest slow gift of all. And it's something that you now carry with you. So, walk. Listen and watch carefully. Take time to observe. Take time to think and write about it. I won't say goodbye now, because whether we realize it or not, we're all walking together into a common future.